Today I'm going to be doing a uh, disassembly guide on the D-Boys M4 CQBR SD. So first I am going to take the upper receiver off the lower receiver. You be careful not to strip out your threads. Now this is interesting, I got this as a trade, and it looks like it might have a night glow BB light in here, not entirely sure. So next I'm going to take out the motor, there will be two Phillips head screws on the bottom. Next you will pull the connections on the motor. Again, I'm not sure what the second wire is for on both of these, so... Next there will be two more Phillips head screws inside holding the pistol grip onto the lower receiver. You want to be careful not to strip these screws. Now you'll gently pull the wires through the bottom of your pistol grip. Unless the second wire doesn't allow you to do that. Next I'm going to remove the stock by pulling the opposite way on the lever. Next I will be removing the magazine release, magazine catch. What you'll be doing is pull it out. You have to twist it backward. What you may have to do is punch out this to remove your fake bolt catch. You'll set that aside. Now you should be able to rotate that past. And with a little bit of wiggling and guiding, you'll be able to get your magazine release to come up. And there will be a spring in there too, but mine will fly. Here it is. Next, you're going to remove this Allen head screw. Now, your gearbox should almost be ready to come off after this. Last thing should be one screw located at the base of your buffer tube. Again, I apologize for this extra wiring. I got this gun in a trade and I was not aware that it had it.
And the last thing you will need to remove will be this pin. Now your gearbox should be able to come right out. I'm just going to be removing this extra wiring. I think it was for a BB night glow BB device, but I'm not entirely sure. Your pistol grip will be removed. There I have it, removed gearbox. Next I'll be removing screws on the gearbox, We're removing this screw, this screw, this screw, and this one. And when you remove them, you have to be very careful to hold the spring down so it doesn't come flying out. You'll want to make sure that you keep the washers on these too. Now is when you'll want to hold the cylinder and the spring. Next I'm going to relieve this tension on the spring, pull the spring out. <laughs> 